This is the Tascam DR10L, and you can see this is a little recorder and a lav microphone, which I'm wearing right here on my chest, and that is the audio that you're hearing. Now, this isn't a wireless system in that it's going to send my audio wirelessly to the camera. On top of the camera is my Rode VideoMic Pro, and I'm gonna sync this audio in post-production because this is just a lav mic going direct into an audio recorder. So this little recorder lav mic combo is something I've wanted for a long time to check out. And so I just bought one, it was a really good sale. Uh, you can see I got the white version, that was the one that was on sale. I think this might be the best option to get quality audio that is wireless, where you're not tethered to the camera. Syncing audio can be probably as much of a headache as being tethered to the camera. I could take a lav mic and plug directly in, but then I have a cable going to the camera. That's another method if you need an even more budget system for cheaper audio. However, if you don't wanna be connected to the camera, and one other thing this helps solve is any wireless interference that you might experience, whether it's RF signal or some other thing that's causing some interference in your audio. In this space here, I have some issues where there can be some interference in my audio sometimes, and I have to clean that up in post-production, and if it's really bad, you're not gonna be able to clean it up that well. So this little recorder you could put on somebody, it could even be backup audio, but I think for YouTubers or anyone who's doing sit down in front of a camera or you're doing anything in front of a camera, you could be walking around, that's the key. This doesn't tether you. This could be a really great option. So I'm testing the audio, that is what this video is. It's not a review at all because I just got it and I'm going to need to use it a whole bunch before I can do a good review on it. I did one sound test and that told me that uh, it's worth at least showing this to you because it did sound good. Now I'll be quiet for a second because that's always important in a mic test to be quiet. There's a little bit of a noise floor in here, so we'll see how this sounds with the gain set at medium. There are predefined gain settings on here. I have it right in the middle at medium and you get these little audio meters, so that's pretty cool. So you can see before you press record where your levels are at and set those up Let's hear how this is at medium when I'm not talking at all. And really quickly, I wanted to record in a different room. I hear the fridge in the background. I don't know if it's being picked up by this. I just wanna see if the noise floor is any different in different locations because I don't want it to be only in one spot and we think that it's being caused by this. I think this has obviously a little bit of a noise floor of its own not as clean as some other things, but it's still clean. I just wanna compare two different environments. That's what this one sounds like compared to my office. So real quick, some of the cool features on here are a headphone output, so you can monitor the audio to hear what you're getting. It seems like that preamp's a little noisy, but at least you can tell that there are no major issues in your audio and that you are indeed getting audio and you definitely wanna be able to check it if at all possible. To activate a recording, it's kind of difficult, but that's good because it means you won't accidentally undo your recording, you won't turn it off. The micro USB lets you offload the recordings onto your computer. It'll also power it while it's plugged to your computer. That's interesting. It has a micro SD card, is not my favorite at all, but keeps it small, so whatever. The lav mic is a locking connection, so that's good, that stays in. When you start a recording, all these keys get locked, so you can't press them and mess up a recording. A single AAA battery keeps it light and compact as well, and I haven't tested it how long it goes, but I know it'll be long enough for usually any kind of sit-down thing that you're gonna do for YouTube or any other video interview or something like that. It'll go for hours, I know that much. You can do 48 kilohertz or 44.1, which is great, 48 for video and bit depths of 16 and 24 bits. So that's really good. I like to record in 24 bit when possible. That's an option on here. There's a low cut filter in here. That's at 120 Hertz, which is a little bit high for me, but if you have plosives or rumble in the background, at least there is a cut in here to use if you need it. I tend to record without it and then I'll do that in post-production. There's an input limiter in here, which is very interesting. That'll give some protection, but they also put in dual recording so you can record a backup track that will be minus 6 db less than you have set your primary 
track of audio. So that's a nice protection track. And honestly, from what I know, the digital limiters in most recorders are not that good, and that's kind of why they give you this dual record option. It's got an auto level option in it, which is something I wouldn't generally use, but if you're going to be somewhere in a place where the audio is real dynamic and you aren't sure what the levels are going to be at any given time, maybe that's something you want to use. I can see it being used in certain cases, so the option is there. And you can set it to the type of battery that you're using, so I assume it'll be most efficient with the type of batteries that you're actually powering the device with. And then a few other settings for naming files and stuff like that. So seems like a really cool option if you need to get in at a budget-like level and you want to get better audio. Getting the microphone close to the source, which in this case the microphone is close to my mouth, that's going to give you the best audio. That's the best place to start. Get the microphone close. This allows you to do it, allows you to be wireless, you're not attached to the camera, and you get a good recording. Time will tell if I really like this, but I've seen enough reviews and just hearing the audio myself, it's something I could recommend, again, for an entry-level option into better audio for your video. All right, that's a real quick look and listen to the Tascam DR10L it's in the description. Those links help support this channel. Thank you so much. Ask your questions in the comments. I'll see you next time.